everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your new shot. I love the science aspect of uh, covering, you know, in, in independent media, one of the things that you get to do is spend a lot of time reading science journals and cutting-edge uh, science technology uh, reports, and RT highlights something that um, is very interesting because we've dealt with the same type of propulsion now uh, with regards to... Uh, you know, uh, air travel here in the United States, across the world. We use the jet engine, have since the 1940s, 1950s. Now, um, uh, well, the same goes with, uh, with, with space travel. Uh, going up into space, we use solid rocket boosters, liquid fuel rockets, things like that. Um, same technology that's been out there since the 40s, basically since the Nazis started the V2 experiments and all this kind of stuff, the V1s, the V2s. Well, now, according to RT, there's a plasma jet engine breakthrough that could herald in the beginning of a new era in space travel. Listen to this. This is pretty interesting. This is a major new breakthrough in jet propulsion technology could revolutionize the aerospace industry, paving the way for plasma jet engines that could carry a craft to the edge of space using only air and electricity. Ah, Again, something that's, uh, you know, more of like a free energy type of device utilizing um, power from alternative sources, which, you know, global warming and everything aside, it is, first of all, responsible to utilize these technologies that humanity has come up with that frees us in a way. Because think about it, if we were able to eliminate our reliance on oil, let's just say, and utilize energy, say, uh, you know, scalar, uh, pulling energy from the vacuum of space, which people can do. That's what Tesla did with his experiments. You know, whether it is um, generating electricity from water, uh, people have done that using the HHO generators. Whether it's uh, solar power, wind power, it doesn't matter what it is, these alternative modes of powering things are allowing humanity or have the capability of freeing humanity. Because think about it, if you didn't have to pay an electric bill because hmm, you've got a little box that's hooked up to your house that provides all your energy needs and it pulls it directly from, from the air, then why not? I mean, think about it. It's a, it's a great thing, and it's something that I don't think will be allowed to happen, a la J.P. Morgan. Hey, where do you put a meter on this thing? Now, uh, Berkant Goxel, Goxel, it says, uh, the lead researcher in a new study by the Technical University of Berlin, says his team has successfully completed tests on plasma engines that could take future aircraft to altitudes of 30 miles and beyond. Now, while the study into plasma jet engines have largely focused on their ability to maneuver small spattle, uh, satellites in the vacuum of space, Goxel told New Science that his research concentrated on testing the engine in a normal atmosphere, meaning that we are the first to produce fast and powerful plasma jets at ground level. These jets of plasma can reach speed of up to uh, 20 kilometers a second. That's fast. Now, the team used 80 millimeter long mini thrusters in their experiment, 10,000 of which would be needed to support a commercial airliner. Now, Goxel wants to try it on a small like Cessna, where uh, they would only need like 100 of these things, and then see if it actually works. Now, this sounds eerily similar to another device, another type of new propulsion system that is going to be tested here soon. Uh, I remember this. This is Science Alert. Uh, Science Alert came out with this back in September, and it talks about the EM drive or an electromagnetic drive, and this impossible drive, they say that oh, it's not supposed to work, that just ends up magically working, right? They're about to test it in space because they want to get to the bottom of this once and for all. This thing is passing every test that it goes under in a laboratory. So now they want to get it into space to actually see if this works. And if it works, this can revolutionize the way that we would travel, let's just say, within our galaxy 
or even within the solar system. Let's just go solar system. The hell with the galaxy. But it says an actual EM drive is about to be launched into space for the first time. And scientists want to figure out once and for all if it's really possible for a rocket engine to generate thrust without any kind of exhaust or propellant. Built by American inventor and chemical engineer Guida Feta, the EM drive is about to uh, is about as controversial as it gets because while certain experiments have suggested that the engine could work, it also goes against one of the most fundamental laws of physics that we have, Newton's third law, which states to each action there's an equal and opposite reaction. And this EM drive basically violates that law because in order for a thruster to gain momentum in a certain direction, it has to expel some kind of propellant or exhaust in the opposite direction. But the EM drive simply goes in one direction with no propellant and thus violates the law of conservation of momentum, which Newton derived from his third law. And not just that, but it can produce enough thrust to blast humans to Mars in just 70 days instead of six months. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, this was invented by British scientist Roger Scheuer back in 1999. And it utilizes electromagnetic technology. This utilizes or basically goes on the theory that the universe is electric, that everything around us is energy, that we are all energy. And it utilizes that same technology. And this is stuff that really, folks, revolutionary, because we haven't seen, again, advancements really in technology. We've been utilizing the same jet technology now they got hyper jets and things like that but not really reliable uh certainly not pervasive out there but something like an em drive or plasma jet can certainly revolutionize the way that we travel here uh, on the planet how we travel within the solar system and will it make it possible now because you know you have an em drive now uh, you don't have that radiation risk posed with like fusion drives and everything else. So just things to think about here and just awesome science news. I mean, this is just like amazing stuff because uh, while I don't think we are, uh, we have the Stargate technology yet down pat, this would certainly open the doors to exploration to Mars and, and other planets within the solar system, which is cool. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.